helping friends and family, super low hanging fruit, but no one ever wants to do it because they're like, I don't want to be that annoying nephew, father, son, you know, whatever to, to, to my friends and family. Okay. So in this video, I'm gonna talk to you how to be unannoying and sell your friends and family and help them because what you don't want is to end up something happens to them and you didn't bring it up. You didn't help them because you thought you were maybe were going to be annoying. And then before you know it, you're like, gosh, dang it. I should have. Okay. So I'm going to show you how I used to approach my specific friends and family consistently. And that's just one of the things I don't, I don't talk about in, 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 in my story. I made 117 grand, eight months, 20 years old, all that. I, you, I, I worked my warm market. I used this strategy to work my warm market early in my career during the first several months, right? A lot, of cold, a lot of cold calling, a lot of cold door knocking, but I had a decent amount. I would say at least 20, 30 grand was friends and family. Okay. So here's how to sell friends and family without being annoying. I'm sure you don't want to be, okay. I don't either. Right. There's the first thing you got to think about is that you're number one. If you do it correctly, you're not going to be annoying. Okay, so here's, the, here's some of the things that I did and that I think you can do. Okay, you need, there's several pillars of things that you need to do. Announcing on social that this is what you are doing now in a fun, non-creepy way that I'm selling insurance now, announcing on social so that when you do approach them, they're not surprised. Okay. That's a good first one. Most people never do this or they just update their job to I'm now an insurance agent. That's not what I'm talking about, right? I'm talking about getting creative, you know, and, 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 and actually, um, putting up a picture, giving away something, you know, and standing by the giveaway, just like think creatively about it. Okay. That's the first one. Okay. Announcing it on social. The second one, is you need to, and, and, and the second and third one will go together, add them to a newsletter. One thing I used to do a lot was a monthly newsletter that was actual, I'm not saying it has to be physical paper, but it, mine was physical paper and I mailed it out every single month. Okay, it could be an email newsletter or I'm gonna give you another idea, okay? But but I always added them to a newsletter as well, so that no matter what, like I had had someone that that what that, that I had added to my newsletter that wasn't even friends or family. He he got newsletters for three years and finally said, "Dude, I, I I don't know why I get these every month from you, but you're the first person I thought about when I need to shop my insurance," and so I called you because you were persistent. Okay, so that's good, right? So go ahead and do that and add them to that. The third thing is you need to be. S sending um, some type of uh, some type of some I, I would send some type of card uh, like a written on it or swag or a gift right or something that most people don't do that is very unique okay to all everyone that's on my list because the next thing I'm going to talk about is actually creating a hit list, a top 200. And what I did when I created this list is I have something called a rolling, I have something called a rolling 100, but it could easily be a rolling 200. Okay. And I, with this rolling 100, I'll stick with the name with this rolling 100. What I do is I have a, I have a list of a hundred people that know me or that I know them and I have them on this list. Okay. And I approach them. I approach them and anytime they buy or don't buy, I remove them from the list. But anytime that you remove someone, when you remove one, you have to automatically add one so that it's constantly rolling. It's always a hundred people on this list. I'm telling you agents could make a hundred thousand dollars a year just doing this strategy right here but nobody ever does it because they're scared to be annoying. So stop being scared. Okay. So, but also when you're doing this is I've got this list. You're now you're probably wondering, well, dude, what's the script? How do I approach them? Right? I'm calling and here's, here's what I did. I'm calling. Hey, Hey, uncle Daryl, this is Cody. How you doing, man? Right? Right. I mean, I'm, I'm natural with it. Okay. How's everybody been? How's, how's, 
How's the kids, right? Whatever, right? Just be natural, normal conversation. How's everything going? Hey, by the way, I don't know if you heard, I'm in the insurance business now. I wanna come over and see if I can help you out, see if I can save you any money on what you currently have, man. Um, I can bring over pizza, we can hang out at the pool, whatever. Um, but I wanna come over and, and, and check out your insurance policies. I'm assuming you probably have insurance with somebody, right? Yeah, okay, cool. I just wanna come check it out. It'll be a chance for me to learn. Number one, learning opportunity is, is, is a good way to get in the home, right? I wanna learn and I wanna just uh, take a look and, and see if there's any way that I could maybe help, right? And if I can't, here's my promise to you, Uncle Daryl, if I can't put you in a better situation when I'm learning and looking, then we won't, do, we, won't, we won't do any business, which is totally cool. But at the end of the day, I need to look and talk to as many people as I can so that I can learn. And if I can help you while I'm there, fantastic. If I can't, fantastic. Either way, we got to hang out and eat together. Sound fair enough? That's the natural, normal, non-weird, non-threatening approach that most people need to take that approach. But they don't, and they never, well, most people are afraid to, 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 to do it because they're like, dude, my, my brother's not gonna love me anymore. I'm like, dude, if you call and ask your brother if you can take a look at his insurance, and he doesn't love you anymore, that is the wackiest thing I've ever heard. Maybe he didn't love you for, to begin with. Like, that's stupid, okay? That's just weird. Right, but you can approach them this way. Most people don't want to. There's companies and IMOs, everything else that like promote that we you don't have to do this, dude. I don't want my family member, a family member or friend, to pass away and I didn't talk to them about insurance and then I feel bad. I would, as should you. Here's another piece to this. You say, well, Cody, I only have a list of a hundred, and I, I remove someone. Who who do I add? I already, I created the whole list. I don't have anybody to add. You're wrong in that respect. And here's why. Because you could be adding the waitress, you know, somebody from church, somebody from the grocery store, right? Somebody from golf, from, from the pro shop, golfing, right? Whatever. Somebody to play pickleball with. It didn't matter, right? You are running into people every single day that could be going on your list. Every single week, I would want to remove I would be one of removing 10 to 20 and adding 10 to 20 every single week, okay? And you can do that because I, I mean, you gotta think about it. I just recruited um, and, and had got Andy interviews with someone from, from local restaurant Char, local country club Twin Oaks, local office depot, no joke. Like this is, this is legit stuff. Uh, we tried to recruit somebody from Best Buy. Um, we were able to recruit someone that I used to play football with in high school Right? You, you, you see the trend, if I want to research and find someone and get in front of people and add someone to my list, I can if I just think about it and, and make it a priority. Most people never make it a priority because why? Because they're scared of what to say. The, 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 having having a, a list, having the, the right script and approach and then doing it can save you it can, 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 can save you that embar future embarrassment later because you didn't help your family or friend. And it can also probably make you $100,000 a year. Like if I would have used this strategy, the rolling 100, and consistently been updating this and always taking somebody off and adding someone on multiple every day, I'm telling you, I could have not cold called or cold door knocked and just did this if I would have just done it. Here, here's the main issue that people have though. Above everything, right, is people are scared, there's fear, because they gotta get out of their comfort zone. Okay, successful people are the best in the world at conquering fear, at getting out of their comfort zone, at forcing them to do, do things, forcing themselves to do things they don't wanna do. Right, one of the biggest reasons why I used to, I still do today, but, but actually make, uh, take a cold shower every morning, it forces me to do something I don't wanna do. I used to go, cold door knocking at 9 a.m. to kick off my day or cold calling at 9 a.m. to kick off my day or, or, you know, do, or, or, or do something like that because I want to do the things I don't want to do, I want to do them first. I want to get them out of the way. So the rest of my day, it's easy to do things I don't want to do because I did that, right? I just forced myself to run a half marathon. That was the reason why is because I don't want to say I never did it and because I was scared to do it, I didn't think I could do it. So I conquered my fear of doing it and did it, right? We can absolutely help if you come from a place of actually helping people and helping your friends and family and doing those things instead of oh my gosh i see dollar signs right so i am going to be annoying that that, that that then you're going to give everybody a bad rap right but at the end of the day if the focus is to help people first 
because they're your friends and family and you care about them. And, and even though maybe, the, maybe the, the dude at Office Depot, I don't remember his name, was not a friend, it doesn't mean that I maybe couldn't help him. Okay, so get creative, think outside the box, realize everyone on the planet is a freaking prospect. Here's how to stop being annoyed. Hey, if you like this video, you're gonna love the next one. All right, it's right there, click on it. I'll see you in there. I got more gratification and satisfaction helping them make money and, and, and the light bulb click for them than I did when I made a sale. And I said, if I ever get a chance to spend the rest of my life helping others,